Hi everybody and welcome to 2019 and as you can see here here's my uh, new place Sony had a great year Microsoft yeah, they were okay and Nintendo well what can we say they did good and as you saw in my first video this was a shack <laughs> now look at it it's actually pretty good even though this is technically a work in progress so as we can see here I've got a small garden it's pretty nice we also have a welcome so I went crazy in the shop a little bit but I've also been doing a lot of practice and getting stuff and as you can see here I really have um, done a lot of work there's my vault girl so uh, with that said let's go inside and have a look what we've got here while I discuss a few uh, problems unfortunately the rating on the game has stayed the same it is still at 6 out of 10 which is just above average for me uh, in fact um, I do want to point that out is that um, this is um, you know basically a uh, just one above an average we have here a new uh, as you can see here a uh, power armor station this one's really cool it was in the atom shop I think it was a limited item I can't remember exactly so this whole area right here is nothing but my workshop and I have to actually get this done soon because a fertile soil event is on and this is where uh, and I love coming to Flatwoods so I've turned the bottom floor entirely into a workshop I made it cozy so when uh, my friends and stuff are around they can just have some fun there's a jukebox all the normal stations a stash box good stuff so it's going to work very well for everybody on the second floor this is more of a community area so we have a couch that's the door to the balcony area that leads all around it's very small but it's designed more for uh, protection purposes for the turrets and as you can see here we have a small band area with quite a bit of stuff and uh, people have actually done full bands in here this is a spare bed for anybody to use there's the cooking station and finally we have my own personal third floor area this is just my personal room so here we go it's nothing major but it works really well we have my own personal stash box uh, it's a very small room but it's still very good we have bear rug we have as you can see here a fireplace we have the atomic lamp I love that thing and it actually does look pretty cool and yes it does take two tries to turn it off I bought the four posted bed and up top I could have actually had more room if I wanted to we have just this standard little area right here with a couch and glow-in-the-dark map poster this is actually very nice and as you can see here I do have a very good view of Flatwood so I will soon be heading in and I do have a little time to kill on that so in fact let's just uh, let's just go do that in fact uh, let's take a look at my character first off uh, this is the new this is the current character we have a marine armor basic combat armor and then everything else leather because of the carry weight and as you can see there that's the uh, stuff I have the barn outing now, so that's really nice. And oh, nobody has done anything to these guys yet. All right, that makes sense. Um, a couple of days ago, I had the camp in a particular location. I wasn't about to just uh, move it, but uh, unfortunately, somebody had camped out right where I was, so I didn't have much choice on that one. And uh, so my camp was forcibly relocated, which was not fun. And check out, I have a focused Gatling laser. This is the first supervisor. Shit. And uh, that. Now, what happened to me a little while ago was kind of weird, in my opinion, because uh, um, in the case of my camp, it said I was uh, overstored by over 130 something. I know I'm pretty good up in the levels now, but I didn't understand that. In fact, I still don't. It didn't make any sense to me. Um, there was like double everything in my uh, my camp except for all my plants. I only had like I believe uh, one moot fruit or the tater. I had something though. Jeez, guys, I'm trying to get through. Yeah, it's low 51. So it's not the highest, but it's not the lowest either. And I don't personally mind that. Uh, I'm not 
most of the time I'm just having fun. I'm just throwing around doing stuff. So it's not like I'm trying to do anything. Oh, come on, guys. You killed the cow. Everybody's killing the cows. And I didn't even do anything. How did I not? How did I? Uh, you know what? I don't even want to know at this point. <laughs> Looks like nobody else is in Flatwood right now. That's okay. Makes sense. Um, we're headed to take down the, the supervisors. Anyways, it was like double everything. So I'm like trying to figure out why, what the heck is going on. So that's been one of my latest bugs. Um, the other one uh, that have been popping up mostly have been things like people floating in midair. I've actually seen power armor. I've seen uh, certain locations. It's pretty weird, in all fairness. Um, but I'll be fair with you guys. The bugs are no longer really my main issue with the game. It's the servers right now. Uh, don't get me wrong. The bugs are annoying at times. But the servers, they will F your day up faster than you can possibly imagine. I'm making a very simple quote. I've gone through so much. And yes, I have a lot of fusion cores. In fact, I still don't even have all of them on me. Show off my power armor too. Whoa! Oh, I love it when that happens. That is so. Uh, and uh, yesterday, as I was doing this mission and uh, trying to get out of the uh, the building over here, the game froze in mid loading. I could not, I repeat, do anything to get out of it. It made no sense. Not only to me, but I think to one other person. We had to restart. That was how bad it was. It was that strange. It just did not make any oh, aluminum scrap. I kind of like that. <laughs> like having aluminum. Aluminum is good. So uh, that's been pretty annoying as hell. I mean, just you're getting you're getting bugs. You can't move. You can't go anywhere. And it was terrible. And I hate this. But I think personally, for me personally, it's the lag right now. It's coming up. It's causing more problems. I've been backstabbed by one or two players. You'll you'll find one or two now that you just can't stand. They have. They just think they can come in and do whatever they want. They have no uh, problems. That is until the entire group of people, even non-team members, just come in and basically wipe them out. And it's almost unfair that I have this Gatling rifle, but being at level 50, I have some pretty strong weapons. So, none of these guys in this level actually are really that much of a threat. be the lowest level one. So as you can see, I'm pretty used to this level by now. I just walk in, do it, and get back out. And to be fair, it's actually not that bad. I, I actually like coming here to do this one because it does actually work pretty well and it's a pretty nice one and I meet a lot of new players um, by doing this and I've actually made quite a new friends and as for the game not being as um, how shall I say this kindly uh, basically being a barren wasteland it's not there are actually a lot of people on the game now and this actually works pretty good I mean it too it does we are actually still on the game and I'm actually pretty surprised, and I do like coming in here to check for scrap and also just to see what's going on. Um, that being said, this actually does turn out to be a pretty good place. Um, so for any first time players, um, try your best to set up your camp in Flatwood for the most part, but unless you have a, 
a mission critical area you need to go to like in my case I just totally packed up and went up to uh, the ash heap so I could do the minor miracle mission uh, do that um, the bugs are really they're annoying still but compared to the server lag disconnection issues those are the worst um, the story is actually getting a little more interesting people are getting into the game and I do have to say that if it wasn't for the bugs and the lag this would actually be probably a 7 out of 10 and I might recommend it to more people but unfortunately that's not going to be happening right this minute but this is a continuously evolving online multiplayer game so things might actually get better for all I know uh, we're gonna head oh, I'm trying to jump <laughs> And stuff so this might actually get better and one of the other reasons I love Flatwoods and I do point out why everybody should probably try to set up close to or in the general area is for a couple reasons like I said there's a very readily reoccurring event um, there is plenty of enemies that are both decently low level they're not great in the experience department but they're not gonna kill you and this is also a good place for newbies it's a good place for young people to start in so this is